research it all. I didn't research the ball. Do you Hi, this is Sam Monak, and this is a Perlin Project Review brought to you by Token Metrics. It's fundamental review. So it scored a 75, almost 76 for its fundamental score, which is good. And the technology score was an 87%. The lead of our tech team, Paresh, said that he really likes this project and thinks it's got great technology. So the idea is a great one. Um, Dorji Sun, one of the co-founders, used to work in environmental work for 10 years before starting this project. And he raised around $400 million to save the rainforests. So the reason he created this is he didn't, he created Perlin. He didn't like how much energy proof of work used. So he created Perlin to try to make an impact on the environment even more. Perlin's a high throughput scalable DAG. The first vertical deployment of this is to create a global distributed marketplace for compute availability and compute power like Gollum. But Perlin claims to have over Gollum a more unique amount of privacy. So you can think of this project as the Airbnb or Uber of underutilized devices where you can rent out your device to make money when you're not using it and it performs computing tasks. So you can turn your lazy devices not being used into devices that can earn money. A smartphone is utilized like 20% of the time and a PC utilized 9% of the time. So when it's not being used by you, it can just be making money for you with uh, Perlin. So an example of a company that could use Perlin, like a big company, is Bitmain. And they're the biggest miner in the entire world. They're about to go public with a $30 billion valuation. And they want to run their CPU on Perlin. Also, other projects that could use it, like any project, crypto project using AWS, Ollie Cloud, or Google Cloud, they should all migrate to Perlin. It's hypocritical of them to be selling a decentralized future while relying on a centralized server. So Perlin basically creates a container for you to do anything that you want. You could run a web server or general AI models on it. All companies should theoretically redirect their server requirements onto Perlin. That's, that's the objective that Perlin has. So before we go over to the fundamental scoring metrics that we use, let's look real quick at the organizations and communities that are ready to, to deploy to Wavelet. So 40,000 companies, 150 countries, 120 institutional investors, and 45 million members. And these are the fundamental metrics that we use during our analysis. First question we ask is consensus mechanism. So Perlin uses proof of stake and it can do 31,000 transactions per second, which is amazing, and zero to four seconds finality. The nature of supply is it's an inflationary token with a total of 1.03 billion tokens that are going to get minted. We do not yet know if they're going to have a token burn. The admin in the Telegram group was evasive about this question. We're not sure. The website gets around 10,000 views a month, so it doesn't pass here. We hope for more views a month. It's having its IEO on Binance, and that's happening starting August 9th, and the IEO is actually happening around right now. Total number of team members, it passes for this section as they have a full team of many different team members, 19 listed right here on the website. So are there fiat to crypto trading pairs on the exchanges? We don't know about this yet as it's not listed. It's listing today. So the company started around 1.5 years ago today. So been a roller coaster ride for the last 1.5 years of development. The white paper or website explain real world implementation of future or future applications. So the website does explain real world implementation of Perlin. Here you go. So it can be used for international trade, decentralized finance, supply chain traceability, sustainability, gaming, privacy, and more. There are public videos of the team members right here. Here's one of the public videos. This is Dorji Sun, the team member on YouTube talking about Perlin and the IEO coming out on Finance Launchpad. Hey, I hear there's this new blue chip. It's going to be Moon. <laughs> you should bid so not to get wrecked. You're new to this, aren't you? Yeah. Just copy what I do. First. Trade like eToro's top traders. Turn their experience to your advantage by automatically replicating their trading actions. eToro, try it now. Isn't this your flaw? Not anymore. I'm copying you. All right. Maybe like Chinese.
Do they have customers and users? They do have dApps already built on top of the platform. Paresh from our tech team said that he couldn't test them yet, but they do have dApps. The token is used as a payment for transaction fees, payment for smart contract transaction fees, and staking to run a validator node. Does the project have reputable early investors? The project has many reputable early investors. So here are just a few of them, FBG, Bitmain, Arlington Capital, and they also have a partnership with ICC, which rep represents 45 million businesses around the world. Next question we ask is, does the community have more than 15,000 members? The community does not. Uh, the community we look at is Telegram, Twitter, and Reddit. Reddit had 300, Telegram had something like 8,000, and uh, Twitter had 5,000. The type, it is a DAG. So it does pass for type. The company website, is it aesthetically pleasing, long-term bios, long-term vision? So the company website does not show us its roadmap, which is not great. So we did not pass it for this question. They're not written about often in mainstream media. Is there a well-known industry person on the team that can articulate the vision? The answer is yes to that question. Dorji's son does a great job at articulating vision. He's He's talking to many different people. He's a spokesperson. And he's been having conversations with industry leaders left and right. Used to work at Santiment, which is a very good company, crypto review company. Also, he's great at articulating his vision and use cases of Perlin in all the videos that we've seen of him. In terms of competition, are they leading the pack or have no competition? We believe that in terms of competition, they're not le leading the pack as Gollum has a way higher market cap and there are many other crypto projects doing what they're doing. So they have a lot of competition. So they didn't pass for that. Is the network public, decentralized, and does it enable trustless consensus? So the network is a decentralized, asynchronous, general purpose proof of stake ledger, scales against powerful adaptive adversaries. So it's decentralized and enables trustless consensus. For all-star team members, they have two all-star team members. One of these worked at Amazon, and then the other guy, Tyler here, worked at Tesla. So then looking at, was the company or key member involved in a scandal? Answer to that question is no. There's no one on the team that or the company has been involved in a scandal. So does the token create a uh, market, address an unmet need, or create value for network participants? Yes, the token does create a market for decentralized compute resources. Lastly, from a fundamental perspective, we have the percent of total supply circulating in relation of initial circulating supply to market cap doesn't do great for these different metrics. For that, we'll look at this spreadsheet. So here we have the Binance IEO is 8%. So this is the distribution of tokens. So the Binance IEO is 8%, private round 8%, strategic round 19%, seed round 20%, early adopters 9%, team 15%, treasury 20% of the tokens. So here you have these different, so the Binance IEO sold at 0 0.07 with for a market cap of 6.7 million, market cap of the private round 17 million, market cap of the strategic round 24 million. So they're raising a lot of money. The seed round market cap is 12 million. Total market cap of all of this is 60 million and only 6 million is going to be sold during the IEO. So that's going to be 11%. Here's the tokens with the price wise breakdown. So here you go, 8% of the Binance tokens sold at seven cents. Then these private round tokens were more expensive at 20 cents. Strategic round cost 12 cents. The seed round, they got them at six cents. The early adopters got them for free. The team got them for free and the treasury will be free also. So the Binance IEO is actually priced very well. So here are the lockups. So the private sale, one third tokens will be available immediately. Then the rest will be unlocked in six month stages. So these tokens will come out on the market and people probably won't be selling because there'll be finance IEO will be one third the price of these private tokens. Strategic round, 40% will be available immediately. And then the rest will be unlocked in six month stages for 1.5 years. The seed round, no tokens are released for the first year, which is good. From the second year onward, tokens are released over 2.5 years in 
20% installments. No tokens released for the first six months for the team. From the set seventh month onward, tokens are released slowly. Early adopters, no tokens released for the first six months. From the seventh month onward, tokens are released slowly as well. So in conclusion, this is a pretty big idea. We hope that they can execute on basically developing the equivalent of what they say in the videos is a decentralized Linux Android. And they're trying to be the Uber or Airbnb of decentralized compute. So we're concerned about the amount of money they're raising and concerned about the lack of all-star team members that they have. Also about the medium fundamental score they got. But overall, this video is coming out a little bit after the Binance IEO. So we'll see how well it does. I believe it will have a fair fairly good return as it's a good project listing on Binance and these token unlock schedules are good. From a long-term perspective, I believe that it will do fairly well also as it's fundamentally sound and it's got great technology. So I'll see you guys on the next week's video to the moon and beyond. Some say that technology is getting too complex. that personal data can't be protected. Some say that the only safe place is home. That cryptocurrencies aren't safe. We at Ledger believe that your data should be safe everywhere you go. That security can coexist with simplicity. We believe that your assets should be in good hands. Yours. Ledger Nano X. Keep your crypto secure everywhere.